ordinary everyday teenagers doing ordinary everyday things. Just normal British kids. Well, not quite. If Jenny sees a pretty woman, she'll call her a whore. If Sam goes for a curry, he's compelled to yell packy. And when Jessica goes through an airport, she can't stop shouting bomb. All these teenagers have Tourette syndrome. It's in their genes, and there's nothing they can do about it. The urge is so great to do it. It'd be like, you know, the, the same urge you'd have to want to start breathing again if you held your breath. But there is a place in America where for one week a year, their extraordinary behavior is considered completely ordinary. And for the first time ever, five British kids with Tourette syndrome are on their way there. This is their story. The first teenager going to Tourette camp was diagnosed with the disorder when she was just five years old. Um, when she was little, we, we didn't quite understand what it, what it meant. She was very jumpy and she would jump towards dangerous things, like walking along the road, she'd walk into the road. As she got older, she also made noises, grunting and snorting noises. And also we found that she, yeah. <laughs> she um, didn't listen. And at one time we thought perhaps she was deaf. So we had tests done on that, but obviously she wasn't <laughs> deaf. Cannabis! Sorry. Well, when I see people, like, I sometimes say what I'm thinking about them, but I don't mean it kind of thing. Nigger! Nigger! Like that, kind of. But I'm not racist, and I just can't help it, and I feel really guilty afterwards. Nigger! Yeah, so... There's no self-censor mechanism, and that's the problem. And, as you know, we all daydream, or you're distracted, and you're just thinking about something else, and thoughts will just come flip through your mind, and then she'll say whatever it was that just happened to flip through her mind. Sorry, That's right. I don't want to do that. I know you don't want to, but I mean, you can't help it. Tourette's syndrome is an incurable neurological disorder. It's hereditary, and the symptoms vary from person to person, but they all have physical and vocal outbursts called tics. OK. Oh, look! Wait, this one? Right. Jessica's Tourette's has had a profound influence on every aspect of family life. That's nice. You take a ten in this. Well, it is difficult because um, we find it difficult to go out for a meal because everybody is feeling a bit tense. Okay. Going to a restaurant can be difficult. Sex! Because Sex. Jessica will be um, tense because the family will be tense. And so um, we tend not to go out for meals or, or en masse anymore. You can't do things. You can't do everything that you want to do. And Trevor's a bad bitch. Ignoring the tics is the best policy, because to pay attention to them can make them worse. But it's easier said than done. Most of the things I find that I wish she wouldn't say, I find quite embarrassing. Um, and, I, you know, it's not... No, I don't like it, obviously. Oh, yeah, you're Hello, nice. thank you. But it can't be helped. I mean, it's part and parcel of the way she is. Thank you. Thank you. Go on, you can go now. Thank you. Oh, thank you. She can't help the shouting, you know. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. She's been here before, and I said to me, oh, really? you're in Trinidad, you know, so I'm Oh, that's great. And you remember it? Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, mind you, you never forget once met. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Have a good day. Thank you very oh, much. Well, that's nice. I didn't know that. Was it with a the second teenager going to Tourette camp has never met anyone else with the condition before. I'm Sam and I'm 16 and my favourite football team and half my life is dedicated to Derby, 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 Derby and many more Derby County around the room. I've supported Derby since I was five 
and I always will till I die. Sam's love of the game has given him the perfect place to hide his shouting. In the crowd, he can get away with screaming anything from uncontrollable racist slurs to complete nonsense. Oh, shit. No. Although Sam was born with a Tourette gene, he's only struggled with the symptoms for the last three years. Shit, whizzles, whizzler, whizzle, whizzler. I woke up on my 13th birthday and started shouting. Of all times, your 13th birthday. Turning into a teenager and then you've got this shouting thing. And I didn't know what it was because I couldn't control it. And I was like, what was going on? And my mum and dad just thought I was messing around. Sam was very bad um, to start with. And, um, but um, he's now, you know, a lot, lot better. <laughs> We're on a ferry to France and I was shouting, I've got a bomb. <laughs> we went, this was the same holiday, we went to a restaurant and he was really bad ticking and this young girl brought his, his meal to him and he said, thank you, I'll fuck off! <laughs> and she, like, looked at him and me, I just, I nearly died. And when she came back, when Sam had gone, I said, I'm ever so sorry, he's got brain damage. I didn't know, I, just how it came out. So my husband stopped talking to me then, cos what I'd said. You are. And it just... Uh, I've got brain damage now, have I? No, just calm down. This is just what I said. But it's he's just got... the things that you say. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Before Sam leaves for the teenage Tourette camp, he must finish his GCSEs. Oh, shit. Final exam, in it. Just go in there, do the job, come out, smile. One in every hundred school children shows some sign of Tourette syndrome, but only a handful have such severe symptoms that they must take their exams alone. It's Sam's only chance of passing and realising his ambition to become a PE teacher. When I used to do my exams in the same hall as everyone else. In your 100% concentration, you've got used to do, like, 70% on trying to keep it in, so you don't disrupt others and that, and then 30% actually on the exam, so you used to end up doing absolutely rubbish. <coughs> but now you're in a room on your own, you know you can do it. And so, yeah, it should be good. Oh! Oh! I got it! The third teenager going to camp fights a constant daily battle with the syndrome. Not that you'd ever know it. She's hoping to go to college and would so love to be normal, she tries to hold her tics in. Facial grimaces are the only outward sign she's suffering. You can just feel it in your muscles and where the tic's going to be. Um, sometimes you shake. I, sh I shake a bit sometimes when I'm trying to hold them back. Um, but when I've done my take, it's like a sigh of relief coming all over you. Like when you've when you've just conquered a massive fear, it's it's like it's like you've conquered something massive. But really, it's just the tick that you've gone through, and you know you're going to go through that several times. Do you like holding your ticks in? No. I hate it because it just makes me nervous, and I'm always checking around to notice if anyone's you know, notice that I'm holding them in or knows I've got it and they're, they're thinking to themselves, or she says she has it, but she doesn't because she's not ticking. And it just feels horrible because in some situations you know you have to keep them in. But it's, it's hard to keep them in because I know, like I said, if I do, it'll just get worse later. Much as Jenny would like to blend into the background, her condition makes this an impossibility. As well as random shouting, Jenny's had to cope with some unusual physical movements as well. Um, well, I used to have an old tick of, I called it my home symptom, where I used to just go, don't, and hit my head, which gave me quite bad headaches, along with one where I just used to nod constantly. I was, used to walk down the street, people I didn't even know. I used to start singing the Noddy song, um, a theme tune to it, which really upset me, and I used to get called Woody Woodpecker, things like that to do with nodding or nodding dog in the back of the car. Jenny is looking forward to going to teenage Tourette camp, a place where she can be herself. We've always said she's been like two different people. She comes across as 